Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So in today's video, it's not going to be my regular style, no Terraria news or mods today. I want to use this video as a space to talk openly about the current state of Terraria as it stands in summer of 2019. Don't worry, this one's going to be pretty damn positive. I'm having a really great time with the game right now. But I wanted to make this video as almost a response to a younger version of me. You see, I made this video at the end of 2017 called Terraria in 2018. It's very exciting. And it was because at the time I'd connected the dots that a few big milestones for Terraria might align within the space of 12 months. And those milestones were Terraria 1.3 on mobile, the Switch version of Terraria, Terraria 1.3.6 might get released, and also 1.3 coming out on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I didn't know at the time that only a month later we'd get 1.3 on consoles, and that was pretty great, although I would say kind of buggy at first, and once they ironed those out, boy, people were having a pretty great time. It turned out though that 2018, it wasn't the year of Terraria like I predicted. It was actually the year of just kind of patiently waiting around to see what would happen. And it only clicked with me recently that we're kind of living in the year of Terraria right now in 2019. It never dawned on me until it did, right? So let me explain why I feel like 2019 is the year of Terraria. And it first started with Terraria 1.3.6. That's not actually its real name. We found out that this year it's called 1.4 Journey's End. And it's going to be the final update to Terraria. And it's going to launch before the end of 2019 if everything goes to plan. And that was amazing. That was like a really big piece of news. Something that was very juicy. Something that I'm sure a lot of people enjoyed dissecting and having a little look in depth for that trailer. That I had a little hand in and I very much enjoyed. But that was pretty big news. That really set the tone. And then we also had Terraria launching on Nintendo Switch. And I know at first the price was a little bit shifty for some people. It wasn't really doing so well. But after a while, people realized that it runs really well. It's pretty fun. I played through the whole game on Switch. I had a great time. And we hit number one on the Nintendo eShop, at least here in Britain. So pretty big milestone. Now 1.3 on mobile. So at the minute it's just gone into beta and there's been a little bit of news around that. Obviously we can't have it on Android because it might get leaked. But this is a beta that says, hey, you kind of won a competition, enjoy mobile early, get back to us if you have any issues. But it's their way of being like, you get to play it early, not, hey, it's not ready yet. It seems like mobile Terraria is pretty close. I feel like it's going to come out pretty soon and I think that's going to be very exciting and very big for this community. Millions of players around the world are going to have 1.3 in their pocket and I find that to be very exciting. And in conclusion, that's three massive milestones for Terraria all coming out within 2019. But this year has also been very special because of the community. For example, this year saw the rise of Terraria memes. And although it was kind of hectic for a little while, it's kind of died down now. But that has meant that the subreddit for Terraria has been growing faster than it's ever grown before. If you have a little look at the top posts from the Reddit of all time, a lot of them are very recent and they're very creative and very well-made memes and I love seeing it. I feel like that place has been completely reformed and I really like it in 2019. And that is the same for the Terraria Discord. At the start of the year, the Terraria Discord became official and it's now grown to over 200,000 users, which places it, I believe, in the top 10 gaming discords of all time. And that's thanks to a whole bunch of new people coming along, moderating it, setting up events. We've had so many AMAs this year, so many giveaways, so many Discord bots that have been created. It's been a really great place to be. And it's been the place where the majority of Terraria spoilers have been released. And I feel like that has brought people together. It's a really great environment. I'm really enjoying that. But the thing I want to give the most props to is actually the YouTubers who have been playing Terraria this year. When I made that video in 2017, I also spoke about the fact that we don't really get many YouTubers anymore and we need good, original, fresh content. And I feel like 2019 
it's been nothing but original fresh content. And to give you an example of that, I'm going to list some people out and apologies in advance if I miss anybody. There's just been so much going on this year. I'm going to start with Game Raiders. This is somebody who's been making Terraria videos for quite literally years. But this year has been getting the attention he deserves because he's been making really fresh original content. Content that nobody's making right now, stuff that's great to watch if you're just watching it as a singular video, it's not a series. And that's great for people that are just dipping in and out of Terraria and he understands that. We've also had Happy who's been making these really long, extravagant and very difficult challenge videos. And instead of releasing them in 50 parts, he's been editing them down, he's been making them more digestible, and they've been viewed about a million times per challenge, which is insane. Very well done on that. Pedguin has been kind of changing things up by going on a massive hunt for trading cards. That's something I never realized I wanted until I wanted them, and that's been very fun to watch, and it's probably cost him a lot of money. I wouldn't want to actually know. But that was a great series, I really enjoyed that. Thanks to the Journey's End trailer, we're seeing Chaos rise the ranks with his awesome building skills, and I've really enjoyed working with him both on the trailer and then both in some videos that we've made together this year. I really like that channel and you should keep an eye on it because I'm pretty sure it's just going to get better from here. Ningashu has been able to break a new world record in Terraria this year by using the duck exploit that we talked about. And I mean, I knew ducks broke the game, I didn't realise they could also break records, and that was really awesome to watch as well. And we've also had somebody new step in and talk about Terraria news, and that's NRLP, New Release Let's Play. And this is a dude that goes in and gets you every single piece of information you would ever need. I'm pretty vague when I talk about Terraria news, I try and go for what I consider the bigger things, but people really enjoy listening to the little things too, and he gets all of that, he packs it into one video and he's been doing a really good job of that, so shout out to him as well. Now, I want to take a little moment at the end of today's video just to shout out a new project I'm working on. Over on my second channel, Chippy's Couch, which is where I post all of my Terraria Let's Plays, we have a brand new Terraria Let's Play going over Terraria Overhaul, and it's in expert mode. It's a super difficult mod, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far, so if you want to check out my Let's Plays, I'll leave a link to that down below, or you can click on the annotation at the very end of today's video. But that's going to do it, 2019. Pretty great stuff. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.